Welcome to Patrick's 53 on the road today. Beautiful, yeah. A bit nuage, but Django Fest, Northwest, Whitby Island in Washington, just beautiful island. Got the visit of David Langlois. And uh, yeah, just tell us a bit about yourself. How did you almost create that new way of uh, playing in, in that genre of music? Yeah, I guess, yeah, it happened without seeing it coming. Mm -hmm. But, uh, yeah, well, the the washboard, uh, I found out that the washboard could be used in a lot of different ways, probably because I didn't know any ways, so I just had to figure out how to mix it with what I was asked to play, and uh, without further questions about is it the way to play these instruments or not. And uh, and here I am on Woodby Island playing some gypsy jazz with a washboard. Mm. And Stephen uh, Ramble that you met. Stephen Ramble that I met in in uh, New York uh, a few years back, uh, like six years back, who was the first to give me a gig in New York actually. Barbès, which we still play every That's Sunday in Brooklyn, no? in Brooklyn, Brooklyn Park yeah. Slope. Yeah. Uh, and we still, it was my first gig in New York and we still play there every Sunday, we are not on the road, we're there. Cool. So, yeah, Stefan is a, it's been a, a long time partner in my American adventure. Yeah, because you're, you're from Paris, around Paris, but That's now right. you're in... 92, um, uh, south of Paris, and uh, moved to the Alps by, uh, by Geneva, but on the French border. Mm -hmm. Then a little bit in Africa, where I, I really enjoyed my time there, uh, especially in Senegal, and uh, and then America, mm -hmm. where I've been now for six, seven years almost. And that's where in New York got the Birdland that you. So met that, yeah, more in gypsy. New York, yeah, I met more gypsies. I met actually with the gypsy scene in New York more than anywhere else. Yeah. Um, as a, I guess, a French musician living in New York. And uh, so I got to play with those guys that are, were wonderful, that are wonderful people, um, Dorado Angelo and all those those guys that I didn't know were some kind of legends at the time. Mm -hmm. But uh, I just met them as regular people and has soon to be friends and uh, and they're already like such sweet people. Mm -hmm. So it makes it even easier to play and work with them and it's ex exciting too. And they it's were open exciting. to that uh, new flavor? To they them. were, they were. Uh, Sometimes, I don't know if everybody in the crowd is, but uh, but most of the you know, musicians tend to be, I guess, on the general level, but tends to be curious. Mm -hmm. So I guess even when they don't hear it or picture it, they kind of want to try it. Mm -hmm. And then it's, uh, it's, it's up to you, it's in your hands then. You know, if you make it sound, at least if you don't bother, usually you pass and, uh, and if you can add something, then you come back, I mm -hmm. guess. <laughs> and you were part of the DVD uh, with the, uh, the Birdland, I think, 04, I think? Uh, the 04 and the 05, and the five, five. Oh, 05 too, with Angelo. The energy is... Uh... It's pretty high, yeah. And on the four, it was uh, beats on the piano, if I recall, right, mm. Corelli? He's, he's great. I love him. And, uh, yeah, the, well, she puts, she puts some really good, you know, musicians together. And so, even without rehearsals, because it's pretty much what it is. It's yeah. like, I guess, the real jazz. There's no, there's no rehearsal whatsoever. And uh, that's what makes it, like, very electric like mm -hmm. everybody is like on his you know on his with his antennas out and uh, it's exciting to play at this festival and what was the you had a coke bottle or something at the show yesterday uh, yeah well i lost it people tend to just throw it away so i don't have it anymore uh, i'll make one later on <laughs> but uh yeah i just use a can some rice or lentil sounds oh, yeah. good and uh, duct tape, and uh, here you have a shaker. On your feet, so on, my, on my left, yeah, that's my hi-hat. 
my Charleston. So you travel from, light, eh? I travel light. That's the whole point. It all started with that. Like, how can I be light, as light as possible, to be able to travel as much and as far as I can? And uh, that's what came up. And so far, it's been like 20 something years. It brought me a lot of different places. So, so no complaint. Still have the snare drum uh, and the, the, you know, the drum set at home, but I don't use, uh, don't use it that much. Thanks for your time. That was fun. Thanks, man. Yeah. I'll see you soon. See you soon. And like I always say, keep playing the music of Django in any form, any shape, any inspiration, and keep drinking good wine. <laughs>